Hey everyone, Anna Kruger here with ISA Maps Coaching. Check out isamapscoaching.com or you can email me, mapscoachanna at gmail.com. And today we are gonna talk about how to keep someone on the phone that says, I am really busy, can you call me later? And not to be, you know, a little suspicious here. Yeah, I tend to think if someone picks up the phone for a number they don't recognize, they probably have time. It's more of a, oh, I didn't realize it was you, and that's the way they're attempting to get you off the phone. So the great news is there is a language pattern to keep them on the phone. So I view it like this. The first time they say, I'm really busy, call me later, I look at it like a personal challenge. A lot of us in real estate like a challenge. And so I view it as, okay, game on. I am going to engage you enough that you will want to keep talking to me in the next 10 seconds. If they say it twice, I consider it legit, and I go ahead and let them go. So that way it gives you a measure of, okay, let me lean in and keep them on the phone. And if it happens twice, let them go so you're not that obnoxious salesperson, right? So here's the language pattern. When they say, I'm really busy, call me later. The first thing you're gonna do, so step number one, write this down, is you're gonna say, I am really glad you told me. And that's just recognizing it, it helps them feel heard. So I'm really glad you told me. Number two, you are going to say, when is better? Not when is a better time to call you, okay, is that a.m. or p.m., what about this time? Because remember, I want you to picture that they're on the phone literally doing this and you need to get them to do this. So if you make it long and drawn out, you will lose them. So you wanna keep it short. Number two, when is better? And then the third thing you wanna do is say, hey, in 30 seconds or less, what has you thinking about moving? You word it, in 30 seconds or less because we're acknowledging still I heard you and I know you said you have to go here's the deal is many times once people start talking about their personal motivation they are now more emotionally engaged in the conversation and they are more likely to want to keep talking to you so that's why if they say it once look at it like a challenge you will have people that once they start talking about motivation you end up being on the phone with them five or ten minutes and you set an appointment if they say it twice let them go. So let's recap. Number one, I'm really glad you told me. Number two, when is better? And then number three, hey, just in 30 seconds or less, what has you thinking about moving? If they keep talking, you keep talking. All right, guys, that's a little tip that has made me a lot of money. So I trust it will help you as well. Set more appointments and get more GCI for you and your team. If you have any questions or if you are interested in coaching, reach out to me at mapscoachanna at gmail.com or you could go to isamapscoaching.com. Either way, you will end up with a coach that we can help you. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.